Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video. But before we begin with all the Gacha stuff, uh, as of today that I'm recording this video, it's the 23rd of January 2021. So last night, after the conclusion of Valkyrie's fourth live tour in um, Zep Haneda, Tokyo, uh, Big West dropped a big bombshell on us with a very short movie thriller. And of course, the trailer comes with lots of juicy topics to talk about um, within that short uh, half a minute uh, clip. So, and of course, within that clip itself, there was a brand new song that was introduced um, by the Walkure ladies titled Walkure Wa Akirame Nai, which has been the theme basically for the entire Walkure fourth life ever since COVID hit the world. So yes, if we are, if you are excited for all the juicy topics that was available within that half a minute trailer, um, let me know. So maybe I would even do a discussion video regarding that trailer and maybe even try and do a breakdown of the entire half a minute trailer if you guys have not seen the trailer itself because of the region lock specifications as always because the official Macross channel uh has his their foreign fans as always left out kind of um you know especially when it comes to supporting them officially in the proper way so yes if you want to see a video discussing about all the you know the the, the scenes that appeared in that trailer let me know in the comment section down below and of course leave a like to this video to let me know your interest uh, and of course i will eventually put out a video so we can talk about it um, and have our hype, you know, levels sustained. Because right now, you know, considering that I'm recording this in the morning and uh, the thing happened last night, my my blood my blood levels have been boiling throughout the whole day and night. Uh, even after I woke up, I'm still feeling the excitement from it. So yes, that's how much I want to talk about it. So. I, I'm sure you guys want to talk about it too. <laughs> but of course, if you guys have not followed me on my YouTube Facebook page, I've already tossed in a few screenshots and of course a few speculations from the fans in Japan on my YouTube Facebook page. Go check that out. And of course, you can dive into a bigger discussion once I put out a video. Of course, depending on the interest of you guys as well. Alright, so yes. You know, this may not be as exciting as the brand new movie trailer, but you know, it is a brand new gacha and a brand new event featuring Cheryl's uh, not so brand new costume because if you recall, like I said in the older video um, where I talked about the events of the month, um, yeah, I mean, this, this costume that Cheryl and Ranka are about to have, or rather, Cheryl has already obtained. Um, you know, they aren't exactly new because they have been featured in an EXQ um, figurine before. So yes, um, even though the last video that I did, I forgot to show the image. Hopefully I, I remember to put the image in this video. Yes, these are the figurines that, you know, Cheryl and Ranka had their costumes first debuted. Um, you know, not in a song or whatever, but as a figurine. So hopefully you guys have actually obtained a, a set for yourself. If you guys are Cheryl fans, of course, have you gotten a, a figure of Cheryl in her disc in this brand new glamorous costume? Yes, that's pretty much what the costume is named after. Uh, so yeah, it's a Nui Glamuru. <laughs> that's the Japanese name. <laughs> so it's not as I mean, it's not exactly a Japanese name costume, you know, as usual, most of the Macross costumes aren't exactly named in Japanese. So yeah, then of course, Ranka has her own version as well. Both Cheryl and Ranka's version of this costume are very, very sexy, you know, all black and white with frills and wavy patterns and all that good stuff. But you know, when this costume first debuted, in the January news update, um, you know, under the official Utah Macross Wiki, a lot of fans noticed that, wait, 
isn't the illustration on the Ultimate Cross version a bit more sensual <laughs> than the figurine? Because if you guys look closely, yeah, the hot pants on Cheryl and Ranka, you know, that, that, that dip in the curve near the belly button area, um, it's a lot lower than uh, the figuring itself. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing that the Japanese fans noticed and they were like going, Oh my god, Eroi, Eroi! So sexy! You know, that kind of thing. So, uh, what do you guys think of the costume design? Do you like the slight changes to the overall sexiness of this costume? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. So, as always, let's start off with breaking down the uh, episode plate of Cheryl's and of course seeing whether it's actually worth your money or not to pull this gacha uh, of course it, it just to attain the episode plate I mean if you're looking to get the costume it's not exactly that difficult to unlock especially if you have a buttload of episode odds on your collection um, waiting and ready to unlock her costume whenever it is possible. So 3869 total score, well balanced stats all around and surprisingly enough only Cheryl is able to equip this episode plate. Ha! Huh. So this is the first time we are getting something like this uh, considering there is a paid gacha. That's pretty interesting. So first of its kind. Um, so center skill, you know, S rank, life up, units life is boosted by 40% up, so that's pretty normal. Alright, moving along. Uh, active skill, life recovery. Okay, so this episode plate seems to be featuring a lot of life <laughs> stats improvements. Okay, so life skill, S rank, Utahime score repeat. So at the 30 second mark for 7 seconds your score is boosted by 100% up so I guess that's why they have the Utahime score repeat here because it only features Cheryl okay so it, it's a, it's kind of like a regular score repeat ability um, you know it's just that it's only featured for Cheryl all right so moving along, and this episode plate, as usual, doesn't come with any special notes. So is this episode plate actually worth the money to get? Now considering that it's only usable by Cheryl, unless you're a Cheryl gnome fan, I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, aside from maybe if you're a big Cheryl fan, then of course you want the latest episode plate for your waifu, and of course you want the wonderful illustrations on the episode plate, which Technically, you could have gotten free if you have watched the commercial for this, you know, um, gacha itself. Whenever you start up the game, when the brand new gacha uh, begins, you know, that commercial always happens. Then, of course, if you want to re-watch the commercial, you have this movie button here at the bottom of the screen. So, yeah, you can always do that and then just screenshot whenever the uh, images appear and you have, you know, the images of the episode plate so technically you don't really need to get the episode plate just for the illustrations anymore ever since uh dana implemented this um you know method of re-watching um the commercials for the brand new episode plate so anyway guys uh are you going to pull this gacha for cheryl's costume because technically you don't have to um the episode plates within the event right now do give costume points for Cheryl's brand new costume. So Cheryl's costume technically can be unlocked through hard work and I mean a lot of hard work because <laughs> um, the event song doesn't really drop the um, the low rarity versions of the episode plates um, that provide the costume points uh, that often. Uh, so yeah, a lot of hard work. So like I said, but if you do have a lot of episode ops on hand, you technically can unlock Cheryl's costume easily. But for me, I am a Ranka fan, so I'm gonna try and save up my majority of my episode uh, ops for uh, Ranka's costume when, when her gacha comes around. And of course, the singing stones that I have on hand right now is mostly going to be tossed to Ranka. Um, because, well, that's how much I want my waifu's costume, considering that her costume can only be unlocked through gacha means. 
So yes, guys, let's do this. Uh, as you can tell that I have not actually done my single free pool um, here for Cheryl because, well, I, I, I really uh, wanted to do it all together in this one video. Uh, have a bit more content, you know, instead of just the usual template pool for Cheryl. No. So let's do this. We'll do a single plate pool first here to test the waters to see how the luck is for today. You know, considering that it's a brand new day and of course the RNG vector is refreshed. Oh, well, we do get a quick load right there. Hmm. Okay. So no Valkyrie animations, so the luck is going to be slightly worse than normal. So yeah, there we go. Normal box. And oh, we do get a well, a three star episode plate, so technically that's kind of decent. All right, so with that in mind, I'm hoping for a decent hand plate pull out of Cheryl's gacha. I don't expect to attain her brand new episode plate, but you know, as long as you give me a bit more costume points, I think I'm good. It'd be nice to unlock both Cheryl and Ranka's costume, and then of course. As usual, like I, if I do get all the costumes, the featured costumes, I will do a um, promotional video. I don't know a spe special sequence live video on the, my YouTube Facebook page. So yeah, all right, let's do this. Ten plate pool at a discounted price of three hundred singing stones. Ooh, we do get a very decently slow loading process there. So that might hint to something big. Okay, one Valkyrie, <laughs> maybe not as big as I thought. Okay, we do get a red box on the first bling, two red boxes after the second bling, so that might lead to something, considering that, you know, the episode plates can evolve while doing a gacha pool. So, as long as you give me costume points, I think I'm good. Don't have to get the main feature episode plate. Okay, some auto love right there. So no evolution on the two red boxes. Okay, this is definitely an old plate, so definitely not related to Cheryl's brand new costume. So that's kind of a bummer. So nothing new at all here within this template pool. So you know, considering how horrible this gacha pool is. Maybe my luck has been kind of flushed out uh, and ready for Ranka's gacha. But before we end this video, yes, I technically do have, you know, something else to pull. I have the guaranteed 5 star. So <laughs> I'm going to end this on a good note. I do have 7 tickets here on the, the Cho uh, GQ gacha. But, you know... Um, I'm 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 just gonna wait out to uh, I have ten tickets before I do this, but let's end it on a good note. Let's guarantee ourselves a five star episode play. Maybe it might be a new episode play, or maybe it might be an old one. But still, it's nice to see that rainbow blink. All right, so let's do this. Let's end this episode on a high note, kind of as uh, a guarantee high note, but still, it's always nice to see a rare episode play. Okay. There we go. Alright, so decent animation. So today's luck was definitely not meant to be good considering the Valkyrie animations on the guaranteed 5 star episode plate. Alright, there we go. We have the evolution uh, process going on. And ooh, I get my waifu's episode plate. And I don't think I have this. Yep. It is one of Ranka's prettier episode plates, so yeah, I'm pretty happy! Okay, so is this a sign that my Ranka Gacha video will do better? <laughs> I hope it is! Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Uta Micron Gacha videos. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, especially if you want to see a video and discuss about that brand new movie trailer for Macross Delta's Zetai live movie uh, let me know yeah, in the comments down below and of course leave a like for this video if you actually watched through the entire thing and enjoyed yourself you know even though we didn't exactly get many fantastic episode play pools except for the well maybe for me the guaranteed five star episode play pool and of course you know if you want to tell me what you guys got you know you know where to 
comment yet. It's always, you know, I, I really said it so many times in this episode, you know, in the comment section down below. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and as always guys, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon if you guys are watching my content and you are not subscribed. What are you doing? Hit that subscribe button as well. And until then guys, I will see you guys soon. Bye!